So Samsung decided to unpack a few things as if we didn't already know what was coming, but can't really be too mad at it. It was a good event, liked what I saw, and I have personally decided that three items from today's event will be coming to my house. I'm gonna tell you which ones they are and the reasons why. Let's get into it. So what's going on everybody? My name is Mike, AKA the Tech King Mike. And today we are gonna talk about the five reasons why I am going to be picking up the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. No, 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 no chasing, no nothing. We're gonna get right into it, raw to the gut. Number one, first reason why I'm getting the Z Fold 3 is because it's the first fold that I'm going to actually purchase. Now I have tried the Z Fold 2, I was able to test drive that for about two weeks from a friend of mine that has a channel, uh, aka Latrell Jennings. Uh, that video will be linked somewhere up here. I was able to test that phone for a while. And while I like the Z Fold 2, there were still just a few things missing for me. The Z Fold 3 does not necessarily address all of those, but it does address one big one for me. So let's go ahead and go into number two, which that thing is the water resistance. Now, I can deal with the not having dust resistance. There are brushes and bristles on the inside of the phone and the hinge that kind of help out with that. Zach's Jerry Rig, everything has already proven in the Z Fold 2 teardown that the phone can handle getting dust and things like that inside of it and still work just fine. The water resistance played a big factor for me because I work outdoors. I'm a yard spotter, AKA I'm a yard jockey, a trailer mover for Anheuser-Busch. For me, I need to have something that's water resistant because there have been plenty of times where I have gotten caught outside in the rain, either on the phone or walking back and forth from a trailer. So to know that the new fold is going to have water resistance is awesome. That is a big thing for me. Reason number three why I am going to be picking up the Z Fold 3. Reason number three for the Z Fold 3. Reason number three that I'm going to be picking up the Z Fold 3 is the screen. Now, I like the fact that the screen on the outside is still the same, but it looks like it's been widened just a little bit. But I like that the interior screen is coming with that under display camera. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to keep it a whole buck. From what I've seen, it looks like it's straight booty butt cheeks. It doesn't look like it's good. A four megapixel camera, I'm not happy with Samsung for that. But I will say I like the technology and I want to see where it goes. Maybe next year it'll be a 10 megapixel. Who knows? At some point we might get a 48 megapixel under display selfie camera. And that would be really dope. I like where Samsung is going with this. And if there's anything that Samsung has proven is that they know how to push the boundaries of tech and they know how to kind of just like test the waters and see how it's received. This so far from the videos that I've seen, it's not the best, but it looks like it would get the job done in a pinch. The same way if you didn't have a webcam or if you didn't have a camera, your MacBook or your laptop webcam can get the job done in a Zoom call or something like that. I do wish that they would have put a little bit more energy into that under display camera, but that leads me into the fourth thing, which is the price. The price of the Z Fold 3 is under $2,000. Now, after taxes, you're probably looking at right at two grand. But for the first time since its inception, it's right at like it's 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 gone down in price. Now, obviously, some corners had to be cut. Some things had to be changed in order for that to happen. But I'm not mad at Samsung for the fact that they're able to get it and the Z Flip. The Z Flip is literally under it's one penny short of a thousand dollars. Four years ago, the Note 8 came out at that price. So the fact that folding technology has gone from the price it was to what it is now is awesome. And I'm not going to tell anybody to go spend full price or anything like that on a Z Fold 3 or a Z Flip. I will tell you, take advantage of trade-in deals. Not necessarily 100% Samsung, because Samsung trade-in deals get, get a little iffy. You might trade in one device and get a good amount of money, but the more devices you add to it, the lower that trade-in value is going to go. So keep that in mind when you're looking at trade-ins, but check out Best Buy. Check out your local carrier store. The carriers are running some amazing deals right now. So if you are interested in one, make sure you check out your options because there are plenty of them out there. And also keep in mind the old adage, Samsung devices are going to go on sale at some point. So if the phone goes on sale, make sure that you check it out. It is one of those things where you kind of have to accept that if you get it up front, you're just going to have to get it up front. If you get it carrier financed or however you decide to get it, that's on you. It's your money. It's your decision. And that leads me into the fifth reason why I am personally excited to pick up the Z Fold 3, which is the storage and the overall 
so overall functionality of the device. What you have to understand about me is that I'm a Mac user. I enjoy my MacBook Pro. I have an iPhone, but I always have an Android. Right now, it's the S21 Ultra. I like having both. I like having the best of both worlds. But I've, I want a tablet. I don't want an iPad because all the iPad is going to be for is for media consumption and things of that nature. But I would love to have a device that I can carry with me when I don't want to carry my MacBook. Case in point, I'm going to Orlando for a trip in a few weeks. I don't want to take my computer for those two days that I'm gone. The idea that I can take the Z Fold 3, have it in my pocket, and it could be my main device. And when I need to, I can open it up and it can be a little mini tablet is really exciting. I know what you're saying. Mike, you could have done that with the Z Fold 2, could have done that with the Z Fold 1. But I just... Even after trying the Z Fold 2, I just didn't feel like it was where I wanted it to be for that to happen. This year, I feel a little bit more confident about it. A lot of people are going to say that they don't think it's worth it. A lot of people are going to say they think it is worth it. Choose and make your decision wisely based off of what works for you. But for me, those are the five reasons why I'm going with the Z Fold 3. Now, I don't need to give y'all no reasons why I'm going with that Galaxy Watch 4 because that thing is nice. That thing is tight. I like the Wear OS. I, I'm getting it. That's all, that's all that matters. That's all you need to know. Galaxy Buds 2. Might be picking up a pair of those just to go ahead and complete the whole trio because y'all know how this goes. Every time a new device comes out, tech YouTuber gets it, switching to everything and all that good stuff. So y'all know what's going to happen. But at the same time, I'm in it, man. Like, I'm really excited to get my hands on this. And I want to live with the Fold. Like, I'm looking forward to living with the Fold. Even when I got a chance to try it, I didn't really live with it because of the fact that I had to send it back to the person that loaned it to me. So to actually get this one, have some insurance on it, and just kind of be able to live with it and see what happens. Because I got to keep it a whole buck with you guys. I love my Mac, I love the Apple ecosystem, but this thing is boring. And I don't really think I'm going to upgrade to the iPhone 13 because I don't think anything's going to change that's going to make this make it worth upgrading. So this is probably still going to be here. And my main SIM is probably going to go inside of that Z Fold 3 once it gets here. But it will be here on August 27th, maybe a few days earlier. Y'all know how Samsung does with the deliveries and everything like that. So stay tuned for more content on the Z Fold 3. But until then, I'm going to say that I hope you guys stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you guys for watching this video. Are you grabbing a Z Fold 3, Z Flip 3, or a Galaxy Watch 4? Let me know down below in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next video.